so take your coat off. Waterproof coat had to come off. It's getting a bit warm. <laughs> Going the interesting route <laughs> of the walkways. <laughs> Actually made my way across the room. You can see where the guys are and I've sort of stepped across and managed to get across the best bits I could. So I've just managed to get myself down a little bit further now to, to the main waterfall and I thought there'd be a little bit more water here. Hello and welcome back to me. Um, sounds strange me saying it out loud because I haven't picked up this vlogging camera and I haven't spoke to you guys for probably two months, maybe three. Um, I haven't been out. The videos you're watching uh, and have been watching and will be watching are stuff that I've done in 2023. I am now in March 2024. Uh, I'm going to put this video out as you're seeing it probably quite relevant um, just to sort of give you an update of what's going on, uh, where I am and what's happening in 24. Uh, I've recently moved house. My style of life and everything around me has changed. Uh, I know a lot of people that know me personally already know. I'm not going to go into the ins and out. My vlogging, my travels, my adventures are going to change slightly. This is a catch up. I'm out with a couple of friends, which is absolutely amazing. I haven't been out with people for a very long time and it feels really good to be having a conversation, talking about the roads, talking about politics, talking about climate change, talking about electric cars, talking about shite, basically. And it's quite nice, it's quite entertaining. If you don't recognize the style and where we are, that is actually Trafan behind me, hiding in those hills. Uh, we're out at one of my favorite places, the Ogwin Valley. We are going up to the classic style because Julian, who's just disappearing over the top there, he's never been here before, he said, does anyone want to go out for Sunday morning? I've got a new car, I'll come and pick you up. Hell yes, please, I need a day out. So, so that's where we're going, we're going up to Style first. I know it's a big walk, my bag feels so heavy, but I just want to say hello, welcome to another video. I'm still here and let's get going. So this is one of those walks and trails that you don't tend to do in the wet conditions because it's very, very muddy, very boggy and coming down can be extremely slippery. I've done a few workshops here and uh, yeah, I know people want to come here and see the waterfalls and visit the style and things like that, but it's quite a treacherous one. And picking your way through this mud and bog can be quite hard work. <laughs> so we're looking for the hard bits and the stones to step on. We've all just remembered what it's like being out with me going <laughs> going the interesting route <laughs> of the walkways <laughs> it's so nice to hear people going oh my god are we going that way yeah feels nice it feels good i'm feeling i'm feeling energetic i'm feeling good it's it's i've really i was, I was quite worried leading up to this weekend thinking oh i'm going back out again i haven't picked up the vlogging camera i haven't used my camera i haven't carried my backpack and i haven't done this i haven't done that where are my boots where's my hat where's my gloves you know and i'm just yeah, I'm feeling energetic now, I'm feeling good. And I can't wait to get up there and start taking some pictures. I can actually see there's quite a lot of water coming over the waterfall at the top there, which is uh, quite good and quite um, intriguing. Because the last time I was here, if you remember, and I'll find the link for the video, uh, it was bone dry, there wasn't any water at all. Yeah, it's nice listening to the sound of this water <laughs> and listening to these guys panting. <laughs> but yeah, look at this, just the sound of this water, just. Just listen to this for a second. Oh, that sounds so good. I've missed that sound. Whew, we're on the path now, which is making it a little bit easier to get up. Uh, there is a proper pathway when you can actually find it. Uh, it takes some finding at the bottom though, making your way across the streams and we've already had one foot in the water from Julian. <laughs> we nearly had Rick in the water and we nearly had Steve in the water. Hey. It all makes it good fun and giggles, doesn't it? Uh, we're getting closer now. We're not so far off the, the top. This is feeling quite good for me. Like I said before, uh, I'm feeling quite energetic and I seem to be making my way up the path quite nicely. Yes, I'm a little bit out of breath. Yes, I've got an extra coat on because it was raining. But yeah, it's feeling okay on the legs. It's feeling good. Now I'm off to the Faroe Islands in three weeks time. I've got another group photography tour going on over there. I've got six guys, two of them are with me today. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Uh, if you want to go, drop me a line, drop me an email, drop me a message, leave it in the comments. Whatever you want to do, I will get back to you. 
Uh, I'm going to do another trip in 2025 and I've got room for six people. I've already got a couple of names on the list, uh, a couple of maybes. It's going to be probably May or August time. So I'll give you dates as and when I know them. But if you're interested in going to the Faroe Islands, it's being done on a budget. We're sharing accommodation and we are sharing the cost of fuel and food and I'll do the rest. All you've got to do is message me. So 2025, trip to the Faroe Islands, five nights or four nights, it's going to be good. And I'm also off to Iceland at the end of the year. This is 2024 and I'm off to Iceland in September, October with a group of people. And I'm also going to be doing that in 2025 as well. Yep, I know, I know, I know, I'm pushing it out there. I'm really going to go for it. And again, it's going to be done on a budget. I'm hoping to bring it to you under 1,500 quid for seven nights in Iceland. Got to wait for these guys to catch up now. <laughs> Just had to take the coat off. Waterproof coat had to come off. It's getting a bit warm as you pile my way up this hill. Still feeling good, still feeling energetic. <sighs> Even though the legs are starting to feel it a bit now. This is a steep hill, mind. But we're nearly there. Just gonna to get to that style just there. Whoo, we are there. We are in. Ugh. <laughs> the cafe's closed, I'm afraid. <laughs> We're here, you made it, well done. <laughs> well, what's up with him? Look, Julian's well in now. Look, he's got to his style. This is what he wanted to do. This is the whole reason for coming. Tripod's down, his gloves are coming off. He's now feeling full of energy and vitalised. He's not sweating one little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it now. <laughs> so yeah, we've made it. We're up here. We're we're up ready. This is the style. Poor little Steve, who's paled out down here. <laughs> He's one of the ones coming to the Faroe Islands. God help him. Um, yeah, this is the view. I've taken this shot several times. I don't think I've ever bettered the one I took the first time I was here. Strange that, isn't it? But I had. It was almost like a summer's day, but it was a, a heat haze and it was all hazy and misty down there and it was just a really nice, simple, quite a, quite a, um, a not a minimal shot. What was I thinking? Just a, I said the word already, simple. It wasn't dramatic skies, it wasn't magic sunsets, it wasn't no rainbows and fairies and unicorns. It was just a shot that we were here and I think that's my favorite one I've taken here so far. Not the one I want. I do want that big dramatic stuff. Now, Trevan is that, patch of mist there, that low climbing cloud. Trifan is not going to come out today and show us its little head. Um, I think the last time I was in this valley I was out with Gareth Danks and we were actually up on the top risking life and limb coming down that mountain. Uh, not Trifan, the one behind it, the glitters. Um, yeah, but yeah, I will set the camera up. I will get the camera out. I will set the tripod up. I will talk to you and I'll talk to you about the composition, which is pretty as basic as it's going to get. Right, so the bag's now off me back. I'm, before I take my tripod off, which is rare for me because I've normally got the tripod out, bump, and I know exactly where I'm going to go. And in all fairness, I'll be honest with you, I already know where I'm going to go. Um, I've already scoped it in my head, done a quick five minutes spun round or even a minute and a half just to spin my head round and I know where I'm going to put the tripod. But for you and the benefits, I'm going to get the camera out and I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to show you what I'm seeing on the camera to give you an idea. So my plan is to find some foreground interest to go with the style that's going to go with the Klinogwin in the background and Trifan and the sights behind. So that's the plan. But first of all, I'm going to get the camera out and just have a walk around and just scope it out with the camera, even though I'm at a stage with my photography where I can almost visualize it in my head just by looking before I get the camera out, which is a nice place to be. So the idea is, I'm thinking, I've got my bag in the way really, haven't I? But the idea, I thought, saw this sort of patch of grass down here. So I'm just gonna scope it with the back of the camera, have a little bit of a nose, see what I think with it in it. And I'm just gonna try some focal lengths, see what works. It's nice, it adds something to the image, but because you've got that rough old path next to it, I don't think it works. 
The next one is I've got some rocks in front of me, and again, I've already scoped this with my head. I know what I'm going to, I know what's going to work without even looking. And I've got two rocks, two rocks in the foreground. 18 mil is roughly where I'm stood now. I can have both the rocks. I've got a little bit of a boulder, some grass on the left. I've got the nice fence, the leading line, the style, and everything leading down into the valley. So I know that's going to work. Um, can I find another one? It just depends really. It's just looking around. Again, from here, by looking through the camera, I've got a rock on the left-hand side. I've then got the other two rocks on the right-hand side with the style more central, leading you down through the image again. And that gives you that sort of trio then. I've got three rocks and threes always work better than fours. So the trio of the rocks with the style, so it sort of takes you from the right to the left, sorry, from the left to the right, back over to the center and then down the valley. I think that's gonna actually gonna work. I'm, I'm gonna go for that. Um, so tripod's going roughly where I am now. So I've got my tripod set up. I've just been talking to my tripod. These guys have been laughing at me. I haven't had my tripod set up properly for months and months and months. I really haven't. Um, so it's really nice to stick this down into the ground, push those spikes into the ground. And I've got my Sunway Photo cover on. I'll spin it around so you can see the name on it. Look, I've got my Sunway Photo cover on the top of my tripod, which I keep on there to stop the dust and the things and the banging it against the walls and whatnot. I don't actually know what I've got under here because I swapped my geared head, didn't I, for my ball head. So it almost feels, what have I got here? This mystery of what have I brought out with me? So let's unveil this and oh, let's slide these balls back. Ah, oh, like that, and just wiggle it loose, and oh, <laughs> we've got the geared head. The geared head is out, and I haven't seen this for a long time because I took it off for weight, didn't I? So, yeah, and just uh, the feeling of, oh, look at that, the feeling of being able to just move, that is just fantastic. So let's fine tune this image, get a camera on the top of here, and uh, shut up, eh? Polarizer, probably not. It might actually make the water look darker, but I don't know if you need it that dark. No, no, no. The camera's on the tripod, the camera's half set up, but I've got it in video mode, and I'm actually gonna show you what I'm seeing on the back of the camera. Now, this is gonna be 16 by nine, so it's not quite the same as what the photograph's gonna end up. Um, even though I think a 16 by nine might be quite a nice shot as well, so maybe I can do one like this and a slightly wider one, but at 16 by nine, I'm losing the sky because um, I've got an 18 mil lens and it's not quite wide enough to get everything in at this, this uh, um, aspect ratio but yeah let's just put the video camera on so you're seeing now what I'm seeing through the video camera and you can see that I've got this nice way of panning it and moving it around with this uh, geared head that's very smooth and very simple so I'll get my horizon level line pretty straight and level from the back of the camera uh, and so I've got these three rocks haven't I one two three that I talked about and there's a little bit of a rock in the bottom there but this is your sort of focal point here this is going to come through the image up to your style now you can't quite get a really good view of the style there uh, but I might be able to sort of pull the center of the image out a little bit and make it a little bit more focused um, you know make, make your eye focus on it a bit more and then you go down the wall the wall leads you through the image and you've got this nice diagonal again leading you through the image uh, there is a gate here I might try and clone that out I might try and lose that for you if I can because it's distracting a bit and we don't quite need it there and then we've got Klinog in there and then above it, we've got, uh, we've got the Devil's Kitchen over in the far distance, right down there. And we've got Clint Edward and we've got Trifan here. But you can't see them anyway because of this mist. So we don't really need it. So I can drop the image down, bring it down so that I can see these rocks and lead you down into this, the image down into the valley. So that's the idea. That's, that's the, first, the first photo we're going to use. And uh, we'll work on it. And then um, we're going to do a, a moody desaturated, maybe black and white, because there is no color and light and contrast of any kind going on. So let's see what we can do in the image. River. We just had to make our way over this bit of a river and I didn't feel much climbing over it because it's very precarious of where you put your foot. You had to be sure of your foot before you step over. Uh, but we were all over, all over safe and dry. But we come over because we've got another style over the side or another, st yeah, style. Um, and we just wanted to have a look. Julian sort of spotted it. He said, look, what does that one look like? I don't know, never really shot it before. So by coming over, we've had a bit of a look. Now I think you need to be a little bit lower 
just to compress the middle a little bit. But again, if you could see Trafan, it'd be quite nice. But you've got a nice sweep through the image. It's a really nice sweeping sort of style image. So yeah, I think, um, I think a handheld shot just to take it back with us. And we're going to hang around here for sort of five or 10 minutes just to see if that, that haziness just dies down a little bit, just to give us a little bit of something in the background. So I've come across this, uh, this river. I've actually made my way across this river. You can see where the guys are, and I've sort of stepped across and managed to get across the, the best bits I could, purely because I've seen this cascade as we're making our way down the side of the river, uh, the side of this stream. And this looks stunning. It looks so nice. And it looked really good from the top. And I just know that from that patch of grass the other side, leading back down the valley, if there was a view, that would be stunning. Uh, but I've come this side now. I've got no view really to say at the top there. It just goes into nothing. But I am actually going to take the camera out and maybe do a couple of little handheld shots. Possibly put it on a tripod, depending on what it looks like when I get the camera out. Because I've made the effort to get here. And I actually think this might make a photograph. A vertical shot. Just, yeah, a vertical shot. Just looking up to the abyss in nothing. And, and to put the polarizer on to make those rocks really dark. And you get that bit of a white flow of the splashing water. And I think that's going to make quite a nice shot. But... And then I've got to make my way back across the river. But at least I'm out with other people. If I do fall over, someone here knows going to help me. So I've stepped over onto this other little island there. The guys behind me are just stepping over now. You can just see them just trying to step over the little river and the little brook, just taking it really easy. Um, just be careful. Come down a bit, I came down a bit lower and it was only narrow. Just making sure they're okay. So yeah, I'm on this side because I've seen this, um, I've seen this cascade running down. I've just taken that one at the top there, didn't I? But this cascade here, which is quite nice. So again, I'm doing another handheld shot and if it's really, really super amazing, then I'll get the tripod out, but just down here, really, really nice. So I've just managed to get myself down a little bit further now to, to the main waterfall and I thought there'd be a little bit more water here. I took a couple of images on the way down, which I'll put up on the side of the screen while I'm taking my bag off. Um, yeah, handheld again, but I think they were really nice. I thought they were had a really nice flow to them. Shame there was no background. The mist is rolling in really, really fast and disappearing. Um, but yeah, it's starting to bleed and rain again now as I've taken my bag off my back, which is just annoying. Um, but this is the main waterfall again. I've shot this many times. Again, if I can find you an image, I'll pop it up on the screen while I'm nattering. And uh, it's, just, it's the classic one for coming up here. This is the one everyone wants to come to on a workshop because you get Ogwin Valley, which is clearing a little bit at the moment. And you get this lovely cascade that's dropping off the top of the rock, which is really, really nice. So I think the tripod's got to come out. I'm going to make a bit of an effort to take a decent shot of it. And uh, hopefully we can get a slight gap down here, as you can see down there, because we've got nothing up in the sky and no mountains, but we've got a little gap down there showing a little bit of the lake and that, then I think it'll make quite a nice shot. So yeah, give me a minute to get the tripod out. So just get the camera and put it on the tripod. I've got the wide angle lens on now, which is my 10 to 24, so equivalent probably to your 1635 on a normal full frame camera. But this is gonna give me a nice wide angle that I can get all the water in down here in this bottom corner. Okay, so we are set up, we are here, we are in it. We've got some clearness going on down in the foreground, so, or the background. I'm going to take the lens cap off because the camera works so much better without it on. I'm just going to whack it out to a wide angle. Yeah, let's go wide angle on it. We've got this beautiful cascade. We're going to take in this boulder up here on the top, and then we're going to 
we've got the water going down to the down into the valley might be able to make a bit of a dramatic shot out of it the polarizer is on so we've got movement in the water we're at about a fifth of a second the polarizer is making them rocks really dark which is quite nice it's making all the water pop out focus on this boulder in the foreground because i think that's the most important part and uh, yeah just just rattle off a few shots and see how it works but let me just put the video on for you so you can see what it is i'm looking at so you can see here in front of me we've got the beautiful cascade going down it runs down remember this is a, a 16 by 9 so we've got a little bit more at the bottom a little bit more at the top and we've got ogwin valley down there in the background with these nice moody clouds that are very very low so there's no mountains up there in the top but this is what it's all about this beautiful cascade that falls down and runs down the river runs down the valley into the valley uh, and it starts off here as well so depending on where you frame it you can bring this down and you've got this water down here that does this lovely flow down and just takes all the way down with this beautiful cascade and i might just bring the camera around maybe a little bit further as well and just just shoot this because there's nothing going on in this top corner so i might just have a shot of this and see if i can make this all nice and flowing and smooth that's my plan anyway so the rain's well and truly set in at the moment i've had to put the bag on the camera to keep the camera dry but you can see this waterfall that's beautiful absolutely stunning waterfall down here let's see if we can just get you to have a bit of a view of it there she is look down in this bottom corner it's a really really nice waterfall and i've brought many people as a workshop up here now if you're interested in a workshop i'll leave a link along the bottom there paulcomptonpdphotography.co.uk and go on to the contact page just drop us a comment uh not a comment but a contact um drop me an email and uh, we can arrange a nice day out with you if you want uh, I do one-to-one -one for days, weekends, I do all sorts and I'll, I'll tailor it for your needs. If you just want to come for a photo walk, then obviously you don't need my tuition. Uh, we can come for a walk and just join me on a day out or a morning out or an afternoon or an evening out. But if you want a workshop where you want a little bit more tuition, some help and where to put your tripod and how to sort of set your camera up, then again, we tailor it in for what it is you need. So yeah, I'm very open to discuss things with you. I'm not like your general normal workshops that put in a set price for a set amount of hours. If I'm out Saturday afternoon, you get Saturday afternoon. If I'm out all day, you get all day. I really don't mind. So uh, yeah, just sort of mention that because uh, this is a popular one and not so easy to get to because it's a bit tricky underfoot. Well, at last it stopped raining, but we've got really big, thick clag. Look at the thickness of this clag. But I actually really like this image. Now, I know this image is all about Trifan. It's all about Glenogwin. It's all about, you know, the Ogwin Valley and stuff like that. But at the moment, because you've got that mist and mystery, it's making these rocks all sort of mysterious and moody and monstery like And, you know, you don't quite know where you are. This could be taken anywhere because you haven't got the valley in the background. And I like it. I've got the polarizer on, which is uh, the Maven polarizer, just on the front there, and it's really making the rocks nice and dark and, and moody. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love it. It's giving me about fifth, sixth of a second at f/8, ISO 125, and I'm just taking a few different exposures because as this clag moves in and out slightly, you're just getting a slightly different depth and thickness to the actual uh, mood of the shot. But let me just show you what I've got on the back of the screen. So you can see, I'm. Let's see if I can clear the screen for you. Get rid of the display. There we go. Right, so you can see I've got this lovely leading line from this bottom left-hand corner, and the leading line takes you across the image. You've got this nice section of water here, and these are all little cascades that are leading you down. And then you've got the beautiful cascade dropping off the top here. And with that fifth, sixth sort of shutter speed, you're getting that nice bit of movement just as that comes down. And what I was talking about the mood is you see these rocks, these jagged rocks on the edge, you get a little bit of depth going down, and it sort of leads down to nothing down the bottom there. But because it's leading down to nothing, it's giving it a bit of mystery, I think. So, yeah, lovely flow through the image, and this prominent boulder right in the middle there this prominent bottle get that focus point on there get it nice and sharp so it stands out really really well Just as we're talking, the clag starts to disappear and it's coming away. So we're going to get a view down the valley anyway. So now do I go wider? Yes, let's go wider. Let's bring it even wider and bring some of the valley coming in down the bottom there. So this is going to bring out a different shot. We're going to focus on that boulder again at the bottom and just going to wait for that move across. And I don't know if I want it all disappearing. I think I just want part of it. So I've got this bit of mystery going on, but wow, that's cool.
So I think I'm going to end the video here. I've, I've got the classic shot. I've got a nice, nice shot. I think I've got a nice moody, mysterious shot. And now it's just starting to break. It's starting to clear up. The weather app's all over the place today. But if I was to spin round, you can just see, look. Look how clear it is here. You can almost see Trafan just trying, trying to come out. And, and Julian, who's behind me, for taking shots behind me, he's, he, he came here and he said, I'm going to have Trafan in my shots all day today. We haven't been able to see it. Can't see it at all. But we are heading down and it definitely is a little bit of light going on down there and the, right down in the bottom of the valley. We need to find the other two guys because they've made their way down. Um, and I think we're going to head down to the Ogwin Cafe, going to get a little cup of coffee. And then we're going to do a little bit more this afternoon. I think probably Julian would like to do the boathouse. We'll do that and we might head down to Fairy Glen. So check that out in the next video or when the video is out or released. And I'll see you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. It means a lot. It does help the algorithms and it does help the channel tenfold by just giving us that thumbs up and the link is just about there just press that thumb and it'll it'll pop up and it really will really really does help and again if you aren't watching on tv because the tv is terrible drop me a comment i will always read your comment and i will always reply to your comments and you can ask me questions on there you can tell me things you can put me right you can do whatever you like i can't wait till next time ciao for now see you soon and it's been brilliant to get out this is my proper first outing for 2024 and i'm so pleased to be out and it's march See you soon. Ciao. Bye-bye.